Hello guys, morning. Um, this is just a quick kitchen scope. Um, some of you, those of you that are in the UK will know that um, the Great British Bake Off has just started again on TV. Um, I'm taking part, I'm a blogger on Missy B and Family and I'm taking part in the Great Bloggers Bake Off. The first week for the Bake Off is cake. So, I am, morning Damien. Um, I am going to attempt a walnut and coffee cake. Hi Nev. Um, I'm really sorry if I don't answer too many of your comments. I'm in a major, major rush. This cake's supposed to be done by midday and I'm running really late with it. So I'm going to just get on with it and do it. I've got all my ingredients here. Um, I've got flour, sugar, butter, crushed walnuts, five, um, roughly chopped walnuts, baking powder, vanilla, eggs and really strong coffee with which I've mixed out. I'm not going to give you all of the amounts and everything because I really just don't have time but I'll show you the method and then for those of you that are interested in making it the recipe will be up on my blog later on this afternoon which is www.missyb-andfamily.com um, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram using the same username that I have on here. So um, you should be able to find links to my blog with the recipe on there as well. I'm going to hand my phone over to Courtney who's going to film for me while I just get on with this. Um, there may be some noisy moments because I've got to use my electric mixer as well. I'm all in a rush and all, all, uh, all in a bit of a panic this morning trying to get this done. So I'm going to hold... hold uh, I'm going to hand you over to Courtney. <laughs> She'll tell me if there's any messages. Right, so basically, this is one of my favourite types of recipes, is a chuck it all in recipe. Self-raising flour. <laughs> Caster sugar. Butter. Doesn't want to come out the bowl. Eggs. That looks nice. Um, then we've got half a half teaspoon of baking, powder. of baking powder. Courtney's helping me because I'm all in a tears and can't remember what was I'm doing. Was that half or a whole one? That was a half a teaspoon. And then, like and then <laughs> shush! <laughs> and then a whole teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, mm. I've got the shakes. Mom. Yes, darling. The oh, the coffee goes in in a second, Nev. It's extra strong coffee, so it's only 100ml of water made with two tablespoons of coffee. I've set aside a small amount of coffee here, which is for my um, frosting. And then I've got, it's like super gloopy, super thick coffee in there. So only, I've got to try and figure out half of this is going to go in here. Say two tablespoons. Mm, I'm going to go another one. Okay, the rest of it will be drizzled over the cake when the cake is already cooked. So everything's chucked in there for now. Now I've got to use the electric mixer to mix it all together until there's no lumps. Okay, so this is probably going to get a little bit noisy for a minute. So you might want to turn your sound down. Just make sure they're in properly. And it's working. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I need to. So basically you just use the electric mixer to mix it all together until it's lump free. When I make cakes, I don't normally make them like this, I normally sort of mix it all together gradually. I'm trying something new with this recipe, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just 
just going to get a spoon to scrape around the outside to make sure we've got all of the ingredients. Pretty good and pretty lump free. I didn't get my spatula out, so we'll just do the whole noisy banging thing. I don't actually know how many of you are watching me because I don't know if any of you have noticed, but Periscope are having some issues today and the numbers in the corner aren't actually working, so no one knows who's on and who isn't. Okay, so I would say that's pretty good and pretty good lump free mixture. Right, let's pop it over here. Now all I'm going to do, can I have a beater? Nope. <laughs> Raw egg, Nev. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to add in my finely, it was supposed to be finely chopped. To be honest, I didn't have time to stand and chop them, so I just crushed them with the end of a rolling pin. So, can you hold that please? Okay, so I'm going to fold these in. And to fold them in until they're kind of evenly mixed. I'm not very good at folding, I normally give up and like <laughs> mix it halfway through, but I'm trying to be good. I'm going to actually make this cake in a similar way that you would make a Victoria sponge because I'm going to make a mascarpone frosting which I'm going to put between the two cakes so I'm going to split this into two different tins and I am actually going to bake some walnuts into the top of one of the cakes and leave the other one plain the plain one will be my bottom cake the one with the baked walnuts on top will be my top cake and there will be mascarpone frosting that has a slight coffee flavor in between the two cakes okay i think that'll probably be okay sorry noisy children in the background so i've already greased my two tins and um, they're roughly about sort of it says 20 centimeter round tins these are the only tins i've got so that's what i'm making do with um i would normally use lining paper but i've run out so I've just like really, really super greased them in the hope that my cake doesn't stick, which it could all go horribly, <laughs> horribly wrong. <laughs> that would be Courtney dropping my phone. See, this is the brilliance of Periscope when you have your children helping you. That was Courtney dropping you onto the work surface. Sorry if that made you a bit dizzy. I think I still have butter in my hand. Is it still on? Right, okay. Yeah. Right, so we're kind of just going to try and half this sort of and hope for the best i'll probably have one really thick cake and one really thin as you can tell i'm not really like that great when it comes to like the technical side of stuff i bake for fun i'm not a professional baker i just do it for the enjoyment of doing it so um i'm going to spread those out gently i don't want to knock too much air out of them so just going to really roughly squidge them down and have a look to see if they look sort of even or if any of them need a little bit more adding to it. I've left a little bit in my bowl. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit more in this one over here because it's not looking as full as the other tin. need to invest in a spatula 
Mum, if you're watching this, I need some yes. baking. I need some baking equipment, Mummy. <laughs> My mum, if, if she's on here, is Maureen BKV and she's actually a head chef where she works and does their catering and everything. And actually I learnt most of my cake baking from my mum. She used to make cakes for neighbours and friends and everything when I was younger. She used to make people's birthday cakes and wedding cakes and christening cakes, you name it, she did it. She's done. I'm here. Hello mummy. I hope you've had a lovely weekend away, Mum. Right, that looks <laughs> about right. Yeah, I know I made a mess. I'm good at making a mess. Like I said, I'm not a professional baker. It is kind of just for fun. Right, let's clean that mess up. Like that. Right, so one of these cakes, the... Um, you did, good. One of these cakes is now going to have these roughly chopped walnuts sprinkled on top. So I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So we're just sprinkling it on. And these will cook. Hopefully they won't burn, but they should cook sort of into the top of the cake she says but I've never actually done this before so <laughs> we'll find out won't we okay so that's it guys that's both my cakes prepared ready to go in the oven so I'm now going to cook these for around half an hour I think um, we'll have a look and see how they're going I want to cook them until they're golden brown on top and until my um I can't think of the word comes out clean when you poke it in <laughs> I can't think what it's called now um yeah no like the the skewer type thing oh. super quick yeah that's how i like it um when it comes to cooking so i'm going to pop those in the oven for half an hour should have added to the mix no these ones are to, i wanted to bake the, there is walnuts added into the mix mum but i wanted these ones to be the top of my cake sort of more like decoration so i'm going to see how it goes but i'm going to pop them in for half an hour then when they come out of the oven can you what are you doing when they come out of the oven they're going to cool down and while they're cooling i will make the filling for them so what i'll do is once they're cooked i'll come back on and show you what they look like and we'll show you how to make the mascarpone frosting they're going in the oven now so i will catch up with you all again soon thank you for joining and like i said if you want to find all of the details for the recipe so that you can try it yourself that will be on my blog later on this afternoon I'm going to go guys, thanks a lot, and I will catch you in about half an hour's time when I make the frosting. Bye!